Good day, my lovely people. Welcome here again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles, and my name is Eleanor. My lovely people, there is this article that I came across online, which is of great concern to me at the very least. I'm hoping that you can see why um, this article concerned me so much. Um, in this article, it is said that the state of Florida in America is seeing an increase of people who are being treated with leprosy, of which we know that leprosy is very dangerous, unlike COVID. Eh? It is more dangerous and it can create so much havoc if it spreads out of Florida and catches other states and other countries. Okay, let's look at the article that I saw. Uh, I saw this article in US today and the article was dated 31st of July uh, 2023 and the article was written by, um, let's see, where are the names of the people who wrote this article? The article was written by Brendan Girard and Kinsey Crowley. Okay, it reads like this. Leprosy could become endemic to Florida. Here's what to know. Rising cases of leprosy in southeast U.S. point to the possibility of the disease becoming an endemic in the region. And a high concentration of those cases were reported in central Florida. According to a recently published research letter published by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, being the CDC, in the, in the Emerging Infectious Disease Journal, Florida is, with, is witnessing an increase in leprosy cases lacking traditional risk factors and travel to Florida should be considered uh, when conducting leprosy contact tracing in any state. The number of reported leprosy cases across the country has doubled over the past decade. According to the report, citing data from the National Hansen's Disease Program, the disease says there is 159 reported cases in the U.S. in 2020. Nearly 70% of these new cases were reported um, in Florida, California, Louisiana, Hawaii, New York, and Texas. Uh, leprosy, scientifically known as Hansen's disease, has never been common in the U.S. Uh, with the most cases previously involving people who immigrated from leprosy endemic areas. But the new reports, but the new report shows about 34% of the reported cases between 2015 and 2020 were locally acquired. Now going to the Florida outbreak. According to the report, Florida may represent an endemic location for leprosy and recommends that physicians consider leprosy in the appropriate clinical context uh, in patients who have traveled to the area. Even in the absence of the risk factors, here is why Florida is amongst the top reporting states uh, when it comes to the cases of leprosy. 80% of cases in Florida were in Central Florida. Central Florida alone accounted for nearly 20% of the total number of cases reported nationally. Several new cases, um, new case patients in Central Florida demonstrated no clear evidence of zoonotic exposure or traditionally known factors. Uh, what is leprosy and where did it come from? Leprosy is a chronic infectious disease caused by uh, a mycobacterium leprae 
that uh, primarily, primarily affects the skin and peripheral nervous system. It can sometimes infect other parts of the body like the lining of the airway passages of the nose. According to Florida Department of Health, it has been around for thousands of years and um, the earliest known records appearing in China and India around 600 BC. Despite the biblical description, the disease is not easily spread and about 90%, 95% of people have natural protective immunity. According to the FDOH, leprosy can be easy to treat especially if addressed early. However, going without treatment can result in permanent nerve damage, which can lead to uh, disabilities like uh, disab it can disable your arms and your legs. Uh, the mycobacterium leprae bacteria is slow growing and it can often take up to years for signs and symptoms to develop following exposure to the bacteria. Once the first infection appears, it can take anywhere from two weeks to a month for it to progress. Uh, can leprosy be cured? Yes, leprosy can be uh, cured. Doctors describe anti uh, prescribe antibiotics to patients with leprosy. Patients are typically uh, no longer infectious after a few days of antibiotics, but the treatment lasts between one to two years due to the bacterial slow growth. What are the signs and symptoms of uh, leprosy? Early signs of leprosy include being pale, slightly red areas or rash, on the body that is often associated with loss of uh, sensation in that area, according to the FDOH. And other symptoms may include loss of feeling in the hands and feet, dry, stiff, uh, sometimes painful skin in the affected area, thinning of the eyebrows and eyelashes, nasal conjunction is also sometimes uh, reported. It if the disease goes untreated, weakness in the muscles of the hands and feet also occurs. How leprosy is transmitted isn't fully known due to how uncommon it is. Scientists uh, do know it is not spread through casual contact, sexual transmission, or uh, mother to fetus. The prevailing theory is that high levels of the bacteria are developed in the person's nose and are spread to others not immune through prolonged uh, contact. So there it is, my lovely people. It seems like leprosy is back. And it is said that it is commonly known as Hansen's disease. My lovely people, let's be careful because right now we know we are living in a global village, you know, you might be in Sushanguve, in Tohoyando, in Namibia, in some rural parts of Namibia, and you might still uh, have contact with someone from from Florida who has been um, who has been infected with leprosy, and as they say that the bacteria is actually slow growing, that person might not even know that um, they are highly contagious at that point in time. Can you imagine? Plus, generally, me, for myself, I really don't trust when the CDC says, no, take this precaution. It, uh, you, won't be, uh, you won't be infected when one, two, three happens. You will be... Because CDC, believe you me, after... After COVID, after I saw them in action during COVID, I really don't trust them that much. They, 
they don't have that credibility. It's like, I won't put my life on the line. And so I'll just use them as a base point, yeah, to, but then otherwise, nah. The Bible says, the Bible says this disease is, is brutal. And I will take it from there. And now that this disease is emerging, I will lo be looking at people who's got sauce on their skins like, <laughs> did you meet somebody from florida or something i don't know my lovely people uh thing is the reason that i'm bringing this to you my lovely people is because one thing that um COVID taught us is that we should always be vigilant when we are hearing the cdc sounding an alarm that there is this there is that we had better start a uh, looking so that if maybe there's a need for us to prepare we should be like ants so says the bible you know uh prepare well in advance maybe if an outbreak uh happens god forbid then you we will have seen the signs fast enough so that should we be locked up in our houses for years yeah, without contact with the outside world at least we have enough water enough this enough bona there was a time when i was watching i used to be addicted to these movies of people who are conspiracy theorists and they will be so crazy. They will be digging bunkers underground saying that they are preparing for when the world ends. And they will be making sure that that bunker has like a year worth of water supply, a year worth of uh, food supply. And, and I used to say these people are crazy. But right now. I can see that exactly these are the days those people were preparing for because all signs are leading to that. So we really need to prepare ourselves for any worst case scenarios. We should never be caught off guard again like we were during uh, lockdown. Uh, let's continue the conversation down in the comment section and t tell me, um until now when the cdc is sounding an alarm did you actually really think that the leprosy was actually a real real disease because believe you me i read the bible yes i believe some of the stories but then i really did not think Uguti leprosy was a real disease not that i don't believe that there was that kind of a disease I believe it as much as I believe dinosaurs existed. Imagine when somebody's telling me right now that the Tyrannosaurus, uh, whatever they are called, has been spotted in Florida. That's what it sounds like uh, that newspaper article is saying to me right now. So let's be careful out there and let's continue the conversation down in the comment section.